Good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm Bill LaForge. I'm president of Delta State University. And my colleagues behind me in law enforcement and on campus, and I have a few remarks for you about the tragedy that Delta State has experienced today. It is indeed a tragic moment for this university and for the Delta State family. And we mourn the loss of our colleague, Dr. Ethan Schmidt, an assistant professor of history who has served us so well. And our condolences go out to his family and loved ones and his friends. Uh, I spent uh, 30 minutes with Mr. Schmidt this afternoon to express the condolences of the university family. The law enforcement that you see behind me and around the campus today is a remarkable example of collaboration and cooperation. Uh, from the very beginning, the response to this incident by our own police department on campus was quick and firm. We brought in our city police, state police, our highway patrol, our Bureau of Investigation, both state and the federal. Uh, and in my career as a lawyer and being in Washington and in Mississippi, I can tell you it's the best collaboration and cooperation I have ever seen. Uh, that does not remove the harshness of this event nor the sadness of the event. We very, very much regret, regret the reason that we're here today. But Delta State is still under uh, a lockdown, and we make that emphatically known to the public this afternoon so that anyone coming to Cleveland will understand that. However, we have checked the campus out thoroughly. We believe that our buildings are clear and our students, most importantly, are safe. And we want our parents of our students and their friends and loved ones to know that this campus is safe. Tomorrow, we will be canceling classes as we are this evening. Unfortunately, we will not be able to celebrate the university's 90th anniversary tomorrow as planned. We will reschedule that. But in dealing with this incident tomorrow, we are inviting uh, some of our colleagues from the seven institutions who are our sister public universities around the state who have graciously agreed to send some of their counselors and colleagues to join us tomorrow in meeting with our students, meeting with our faculty and our staff uh, to deal with this incident and to uh, explore some of the grief that we're all experiencing. Uh, I am very grateful to our university colleagues around the state for coming to our assistance in this time of need. And I want to say this because I know people are looking in from around the country and around the world. Uh, we are overwhelmed by the expression of sentiment from Europe, from the West Coast, from my president's colleagues who just traveled with me to Cuba, uh, all of those across the state of Mississippi who've expressed condolences today. Uh, we feel that solidarity and camaraderie, and we appreciate it very much. And I also want to thank uh, Commissioner Glenn Boyce and our governor for the great job they have done in giving us assurance and especially assistance. <clears throat> we appreciate very much that we've done. At this point, I would like to turn the microphone over to Cleveland's outstanding police chief, Chief Bingham. Thank you. <clears throat> Again, I would, uh, since we have some new media here, I'll go back and reiterate what happened this morning. At approximately 10.18 this morning, <clears throat> Delta State University Police received a phone call concerning shots fired in Job Auditorium. Immediately, officers were dispatched. They notified the Cleveland Police Department, and we also dispatched officers. Uh, when we arrived on the scene, there was one victim that was found, uh, found in his uh, office, and that was Mr. Ethan Schmidt. At that point, a lockdown of the university was in initiated. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the students, faculty, staff, and administration was as safe as they possibly could be. Uh, at this time, the invest investigation is ongoing. We do have a, uh, earlier I said, a person of interest and a Mr. Uh, Larry, uh, excuse me, what was his name? Shannon Lamb. Shannon Lamb, excuse me, I'm sorry. I've had a bunch of names thrown at me today, but Mr. Shannon Lamb, we identified him as a person of interest. At this time, we're going to upgrade him to a suspect. Uh, we're actively pursuing Mr. Lamb at this moment. Uh, we have information that we're uh, following up on. We have leads that we're following up on. Uh, we've identified several vehicles that uh, Mr. Lamb could possibly be using. We have located some of those vehicles and checked them out. There are a few vehicles that we have not located, and the press was given a copy of uh, a tag number this afternoon on a dark <clears throat> 2011 Dodge Avenger. 
I believe the tag number is Sam Frank Tom 015, uh, that we're looking for that vehicle at this time. Uh, we do not have uh, the suspect in custody at this moment, but we are actively pursuing him. And at this mo point, I'll take a few questions. What do you believe is the, the relationship or the motive uh, between uh, Mr. Lamb and Dr. Smith? Right now, we have no motive, and we're not going to speculate on a motive until we have facts in hand. Do you consider Mr. Lamb to be armed and dangerous? At this moment, we do consider Mr. Lamb to be armed and dangerous, and we ask that anyone that comes in contact with him to give us a call. They can either call the Bolivar County Sheriff's Department, the Cleveland Police Department, or the uh, Delta State University Police Departments. Uh, we have those numbers available, and they'll be given out to you at a later at a later time. Was a car associated with Mr. Lamb found in Washington County, and is he believed to have frequented the Winterville Mound Park in recent days? Uh, the car was found in uh, Washington County, but the car appeared to have been there for quite some time. Uh, as far as him frequenting that area, we have no uh, information for that. Uh, Job Auditorium is relatively a small building when you come to a university campus. Uh, the point of where the office was, was at to where an exit was, was wasn't hard for somebody to go up and leave the building rapidly. Uh, we had officers, Delta State had officers, and we had officers on the scene within two minutes. Can you tell us about any information you may have gathered from cell phone data or things? Uh, at that time, we're not giving that information out. Uh, that is part of our investigation. Uh, like I said, we are actively uh, looking for this gentleman at this time. Okay. Let me let me let you let me let you talk to Sheriff Williams for just a moment. Okay, um, Chief Bingham has has already stated pretty much um, what I was going to say. We have this is a tragic incident for Bolivar County, for Delta State University, and for Cleveland, Mississippi. Um, we ask that you all continue to be patient with us as we continue to, to do our job. Um, it's a lot of uh, rumors and information that's out there. Uh, we will only release factual information um, and information that we have. And so as we move forward, we are actively and we are going, we're not going to stop until we have Mr. Lamb in custody. Um, so we ask that you continue to, to work with us and be patient with us as we do our, our job. Yes. All students are safe on campus. We have, we still have a, a live crime scene and a, and a perimeter set up for, for um, anyone who enters in and out of this campus. So um, we're checking as they go and come. Um, the, one, the students are secured in their dorm, the one that's, that lives here on campus. So we are, <clears throat> we have secured the campus and we have um, it secured at, at, at this moment. The, the early information that we, the, the information that we received from earlier, um, we believe that he's still in the same vehicle that he was in earlier. It should be the black Dodge Avenger, the black Dodge Avenger. Sam Frank Tom, Sam Tom Frank, zero one five. Sam Tom Frank, zero one five. Thank you. Who is the lead agency in regards to Doshay and Bolivar? Yeah, you're going to be. Um, Chief Bingham has been in, in contact with, with the um, agencies on, from um, Doshe. Any idea where you No, yes. we have no at, idea. At this time, we're going to conclude our, our uh, press conference. If there's new information, uh, we will schedule, so you guys won't uh, need at 10 p.m. will be the next time we meet if there is a need for that. Uh, we will put that out at a time you can be here. Uh, up to the end, I'm going to let our staff go back to the command center so they can continue doing their roles and helping this investigation. Can Thank you so much. The board the students. How are students going to keep tonight? How severe is the lockdown? Are they able to move? How are they going to get their legals on the parents? The cafeteria is open. Students will understand that. We were kept safely in the Coliseum for a few hours, and we brought them back to the dormitories uh, with officers accompanying them. So they'll eat tonight, eat tomorrow.